turnovers. Both of these teams have not been taking care of the basketball. 15 turnovers para dito sa Zamboanga Family's brand sardines that have resulted in 17 points para sa Nueva Ecija. Well, Nueva Ecija committing 12 of their own, resulting in 14 points para sa Zamboanga. So this is one thing that, aside from the free throw shooting of Nueva Ecija, has been the chink in the armor for the Rice Vanguards in this game. Again, in game number three, the turnover story was 20-13 to 13 in favor of Zamboanga. Family Span Sardines have already surpassed that 13 turnover output here in this game. JC Marcelino has eight points. Aguilos, Dumapig, and Lopez with four, four, and three. On the other end, Byron Villarias well on pace to surpass his playoff uh, finals average of 14 points per game. Michael Mabulak and Uyloan have six points. Number three, but he's off to uh, making two three-pointers already in this game. Third quarter action here. Jesse Gabo, Michael Mabulak, Byron Villaria, Shaq Taganas, and Michael Rico beginning for Nueva Ecija. Byron wide open again. Great fake. That time he misses. One more chance here. Leaner is no good. Another chance for Nueva Ecija. Great offensive rebounding. Gabo, mid-range. In and out. Almost another rebound. And and they you know do what, force having another possession. You know what makes another good thing that's been happening for Nueva Ecija right now because of their outside shooting is Zamboanga has not been able to run out in transition getting those long rebounds. Fast break scoring in the first half. 13-8 to eight in favor of the Rice Vanguards. Gabo kick out. Wico's turn. They go to Mabula. This time it's too strong. A foul on Michael Wico. Cyrus Stabi picking up. That personal, he's working with JC Marcelino, Tosi Tansin. There for Nueva Ecija to begin this second half, but they were unable to capitalize. Let's see if Zamboanga can be able to seek a basket here to start off well in this third quarter. By the way, Shaq Taganas had five points and six rebounds in the first half after getting the start for Coach Gerson Cabiltes. Has been very effective in do or die games. JC Marcelino scoring on the one hander. Very seldom do you see JC Marcelino get a setup in the low block. At that time, he was able to score despite the defense, our season MVP. Here's Gabo. Drive against JV. Some trouble. And a travel against Hesed Gabo. Coach Jerson Cabildes starting him here in the third quarter to somehow get that rhythm back. The other end, ball tap away in favor of Zamboanga. You think Zamboanga would be quick, quickening up the pace in the third quarter to their favor? Definitely, that is very important. It is imperative that they that they are able to push the ball in transition whenever they have the opportunity to pressure the basketball, get easy baskets. Oh, good swipe. Mabula getting that steal. Here's Wiko, spin. Lumapik is there. No foul, no basket. Rebound on Cinco. See the pressure a, from the backcourt. That was a three-on-three -three break, and Michael Wico taking it upon himself, resulting in a miss. Pressure from Taganos. Foul on Shaq, who acknowledges it. The favorite player of the referees in the MPBL, your uh, sportsmanship awardee in this season. Hindi ka naman parati makakita ng player na pag tinawagan ng foul, sasenyas lang ng thumbs up. Right. And now we give a thumbs up to our course side reporter, that's si Sidney Crespo. Sid, go ahead. The main concern of the Zamboanga team now ay ang kanilang pasensya sa offense at tuluyan na ang nalubog na rin sa turnovers. The coaches mentioned that there were a lot of one pass, two pass, but never really finding the next best shot. Let's see if they can work on that in the second half and come back in this game. Back to you guys. First quarter, that's JV Marcelino, Chris Dumapig, and Japs Bautista. Yung tatlong yun, they have struggled so far in this game. Ito tama yung sinabi niya on that report, one pass, two pass, not really resulting in anything good para sa Zamboanga. Napansin natin that it has been stagnant in their offensive sets, especially in the half court. They're not making the defense of Nueva Ecija work. JC Marcelino, so far he is the top scorer of Zamboanga. The cross, and he gets the foul. No ball movement whatsoever on that offensive set, just an ISO para sa ating MVP na si JC Marcelino. But the defense of Nueva Ecija allowing JC to drive to the basket and go up strong, getting a foul, now through to the line for two shots. 
JC Marcelino, we saw that video of him and his twin brother JV. Mula sa Olonga po, nagsimula bilang mga kargador, tagabenta ng prutas sa gilid-gilid para matulungan ang kanilang mga pamilya. Now, JC has emerged as the all-star and season MVP of the MPBL. In the previous game, we talked about him needing to become a playmaker for Zamwanga. You think he needs to score a lot here in the second half? Well, definitely. Now that they're down, he really needs to carry his this team on his back as he has done all season long. But it is that effort in trying to get the baskets that Zamwanga needs that might be the source of inspiration and motivation for his other teammates to step up to the plate and get back into contention for this game. The other end, Michael Rico still feeling motivated here despite that injured wrist. He will go back to the line. This free throw is brought to you by Extreme Appliances, ang subok at kompletong appliance brand ng Pilipinas. Another miss for Rico. In the first half, Michael Rico shot the ball two out of five from the free throw line. He had, ha he had the bulk of the attempts of Nueva Ecija from the stripe in that first half because of his relentlessness in attacking the basket. Right there, a split for him as he puts another point on the board for his squad. 41-27, two minutes and change gone by in the second half. Here's JC against Byron Villarias. See that zone again from Nueva Ecija. Tyler Stabi. Jab step, three pointer, short. Again, absent ball movement on that play. Only two people touching the basketball. The other end, Michael Wiko staying aggressive. Hindi talaga matatawaran yung effort and energy ni Michael Wiko. He will leave everything on the floor, injured and all. Walang problema yan para kay Mike Wiko. Remember, in game number one, he was scoreless and he bounced back big time. In game number two, had best player of the game honors. This time it's JV Marcelino scoring, and he's also going to go to the line. Uh, if you're going to talk about big time, JV Marcelino has to come up as just that in this game, scoring his first bucket after that drive on the baseline, attacking middle, getting past Shaq Taganas, kissing it off the glass, getting the basket, it won. JV Marcelino was 0 out of 2 from the field in the first half. 0 out of 2 from the line as well. And he had 5 turnovers in the first two quarters. Gabo, bounce pass. Beautiful feed. Sorry, Mr. Villarias. Great contest by Marcelino. That's another occasion where Hesed Gabo could have taken the shot. And you know, it depends on the Byron Villarias. The other end, JC's wide open. That's the biggest three-pointer of the night so far, courtesy of JC Marcelino. And for the first time tonight, we're hearing this crowd roar the same way they did in Game 3 every time Zamboanga made a big basket. Lead cut down to 10, 43-33. Gabo, bounce pass. Ball tapped away, that's a foul. I believe Hesed Gabo has to look for his shot more often here in the second half. Nababasa na masyado ng depensa yung willingness niya to pass, especially off of that screen and roll. That's the third foul on JC Marcelino who just hit this three-pointer that got the crowd going, as you mentioned, for the first time in this game, just like the way they did in game number three. Balik tayo sa Nueva Ecija, Byron Villarias. In and out, rebound Michael Wico. Third quarter so far belongs to him. And he flexes his muscles right there as he outboxed the opposition, getting another bucket. Everything inside para kay Michael Vico in this game. Nine points so far for Vico. Tabi hanging, could not score. And by Sia looking to take control. Forward pass, Villarias. Blocked by Tancinco. And he saves it. The other end, JC attacking. Layup, too strong, Saitastavi is there. I was already about to say that Saitastavi, for all the minutes that he has played here on the floor, para si Zamboanga, has not been a factor before that basket. Davi was scoreless in the first half as well. Wiko from downtown, no good. Rebound, JV. Can Zamboanga capitalize here and trim this lead? To single digits. JC, fake, fire, short.
Halfway through the third, physicality inside, and Cinco and Mabulak getting tangled up. That's a lot more than Tosi Tancinko can handle. Trying to defend one of the premier big men here in the NBBL and Mike Mabulak. That was one of the storylines in game number three. The big men of Nevaisia exploiting the defensive lapses of both Tosi Tancinko and even Chito Jaime. On the other end, the sacrifice for Zamboanga is that they could have the three-point shooting of those stretch fours. Rilon will miss off of the baseline inbound. Forward pass, JC to JB. And here's Jeff Bautista. Drive, pass inside, good big. Oh, what a block by Macaloni. Ball out of bounds. Well, JB could have gotten away with a travel right there. He shuffled his feet before he went up for that shot. That's an amazing effort for Zamboanga to try and retain possession. JC Marcelino will take a breather here. Pasok si Irvin Palencia, pati si Renz Palma. So Nevaisia, Coach Jerson Cabiltes mentioned Renz Palma is the most underappreciated player of the Rice Vanguards. He has sacrificed a lot on offense as he focused on defense in the season for the team. JV Marcelino, they go to Palencia. Tancinco asking for it. No good, rebound Palma. And we have to remember Renz Palma He's also one of the players on Nueva Ecija that has recent PBA experience. Definitely a known scorer as well. Now he picks up the foul. Might not be your best outside shooter, but he's definitely one of the most athletic players that we have here in the MPBL. The ability to break down the defense, attacking from the outside and finishing at the basket. We also have to remember, Renz Palma is a homegrown of Nueva Ecija. Chris Bitton. They go to Palma against Bautista. Renz taking his time. Almost a turnover. Mabula, four seconds on the shot clock. Kick out. Oilon, blocked by JB. What a pass. One guy to beat, Marcelino. Sorry, miss on the layup. Other end we go. Palma. No numbers for Nevaisia. Mabula. Good fake by Bautista defensively. Macaloni on the putback. That's a push. Zamboanga has done a wonderful job of pulling defensive stops in this third quarter. But they have not capitalized on all those opportunities on the offensive side. Webay C has answered back with equally gallant defensive stance. Will Macaloni now has four fouls. That's why Jake Oliado will be replacing him. John Mahari checking in for JB Marcelino. So now, Zamboanga will be tested once again as they do not have a single Marcelino brother on the court. Let's turn you over to Sidney Crespo. You know, Mixon Havito, si Tancinko hurt his left ankle in the third quarter in game number three and wasn't able to come back. Pero sabi niya, okay na daw siya ngayon. He's quick to give, it, to give credit to his longtime mentor, Coach Vic, na kasama niya sa NU in their 2014 championship, 2019 MPBL Bacolod, at ngayon for giving him the red light to take shots. He said, yun lang ang kulang nila and he didn't want to waste any opportunity after sitting out the first two games. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Sid, for that report. Definitely that trust paying off for Tosi Tancinko and Coach Vicky Casciano. Again, he did not play in games one and two. As soon as he was inserted in, he got five three-pointers in game number three. Just after Chito Jaime exploded in game two back in Palayan City. Now that sprained ankle was actually overlooked just because of the great performance of Tosi Tancinko. Great for him to be able to play here. Great stop by John Mahari, who is known for defense playing for Zamboanga. That intensity on that end of the floor now really climbing to another level. And with the help of the crowd, their energy has really spilled onto the floor. It won't be free throws for Mahari. Sideline inbound tayo. Mahari working with Jack Bautista, Irvin Palencia, Jamie Aguilos, and Chito Jaime. Under four minutes in the third, eight cut down to eight. Japs, they go to Aguilos. Valencia's open. Irving, back to Jamo. In trouble. Aguilos able to score. 
Somehow, someway, Teemo Aguilos got that shot up and got those two points to trim this deficit to just six, and they get a stop here. Chito Jaime getting that basketball. Here's Jeff Bautista. 45-39, Zamboanga feeling it in game number four. Here's Japs. He will fire. No bounce. Rebound Mabula. Could have been a big one for Zamboanga. Ito on Mabula. High low. No go. Back to Chris. Bounce pass intercepted. Could not be completed by Jaime. Eight on the shot clock. Renz Palma. Drive down the middle. Oh, that's, that's a travel. travel. Everybody knew it here. The 5,000 strong of Zamboanga. Nobody from that Weva is here. Five willing to take that shot. You saw the indecision and the indecisiveness coming from one of the best scoring guards in the league in Chris Vitoon. And the pressure to make something happen falling on the shoulders of Renz Palma who commits a turnover. Dahil dyan, balik dito si Byron Villarias who will definitely not hesitate to shoot. And Mike Enrico who has been having a great third quarter so far. Valencia losing his defender. They go to Aguilos, kick out. Pahari, fake, drive, layup. Now he will take free throws. Supposedly, great challenge by Jay Collado. Pero hindi niya maiwasan na mapayungan. Ito si John Mahari. Look at the replay right there. Baseline drive. Slight uh, pagbaba ng uh, arms nito ni Jay Collado para payungan yung tira ni John Mahari. Again, these are the first free throws of Mahari in this series. The first one is good. One of the homegrowns of Zamboanga, John Mahari coming alive, this time on the offensive end of the floor. Free throw shooting, 14 out of 19 for Zamboanga, something that they have been consistent with compared to Nueva Ecija. Another attempt, this time too strong. Villarias gets the board. The Rice Tangers have been scoreless in the last three and a half minutes. They have been outscored by 11 by Zamboanga in this quarter. Inside, this time, Goliado picks up the foul. Nueva Ecija has to settle down. In game three, yun ang kulang sa kanila because Hesed Gabo was not able to really play meaningful minutes. They did not have any stabilizer inside the floor, especially when the going was getting tough for them. And right now, Gabo not on the floor. Biton is the ta player tasked to man that point guard spot para kay Coach Jerson Cabiltes. He has to step up to the plate and make sure that his team is controlled and uh, hindi magpapabigay dito sa pressure ng crowd. Remember, Biton started in this game. Jay Culliado, that guy came off the bench. But remember, he was one of their main catalysts in game number two. Culliado with 13 points on three threes. Back in Palayan City. 47-40. Chico Jaime. Oh, almost a turnover. Recovered by Bautista. Under two minutes here in the third. Eight on the shot clock. Japs will drive. Almost lost space. Palencia. Ooh. Sorry pass. Foot race. Villarias with an easy two. Unselfish play right there. Chris Piton seeing Villarias. Got a full head of steam going to the basket, putting the forward pass in and getting the two points. The other end, Bautista will miss. Great effort by Wico. Japs, Aguilos, who will shoot this ball? Japs will do it. No good from the corner. Villarias, who just scored his first basket in the third quarter. He will slow things down. Piton, Tumabula, against Aguilos. Veteran versus veteran. Mabula taking his time. Powering through. No good. Ball tapped away in favor of Zamboanga. Out of two Titans at the post that time. Aguilos getting the better of the matchup against Michael Mabula. Jack Taganas will check in here. 
Bobby Balokana checked in as well. The new duo as the big man, big, 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 the big men for Nevaisia at this point. We're working with Michael Wico, Byron Villarias, and Chris Bitoon. The other end, it's still Mahari, Palencia, Bautista, Jaime, and Aguilos. 49 seconds remaining in the third. Urban breaking down the D. Leaner is too strong. And that's off of Taganas. Lucky break right there. Para sa Zamboanga. That was a four shot by Urban Palencia. Challenged by multiple Nueva Ecija defenders. But the Rice Bandits could not finish the defensive possession. Bautista at the corner. Could be a big one. It's too strong. Still hasn't found the bottom of the rim. Itong si Japs Bautista. 10 second differential. Piton to Wiko. Gets Mahari. Eight on the shot clock now. This Piton, top of the key. Too strong, rebound. And that's all for Byron. Referee at the baseline calling it. Never see his way. Referee at the sideline called it some longest way. And it looks like it will stay with the white shirts. Right there, Jovet the Femi, our baseline referee, having the better ban vantage point to call that. Will there be a substitution here? Jonathan Rilon asked to go back to the bench. Vito on. 10 seconds to work with. Pressure from up top. Pass inside. No steal. Villarias. Another miss, Taganas, wala pa rin. ball tapped away, half-court shot! And that will do it, folks, for the first three quarters of play. Zamboanga still won the third, but Javi, is this good enough momentum proceeding to the fourth ring? Welcome back to Game 4 of the 2022 MPBL National Finals. The Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards looking to snatch that trophy here in Zamboanga City. But the home team and the home crowd, they definitely have something to say about that as they want to get the most important game here in Zamboanga of the season so far. And they try to force game number five back in Palayan City. Thank you for joining us, folks. Mix Gomez, Javi Palanya, Mika Abesamis, and Sydney Crespo. At your service for game number four. Our score is 49 to 40. And there you see the quarter scoring on your screens after Nueva Ecija limited Zamboanga to just nine points in the second period. Zamboanga doing the same to Nueva Ecija, however, only scoring 16 points. So the lead still at nine here para sa Rice Vanguards. Taganas working with Villarias, Bitoon, Wiko, and Balokanag. Byron will miss. Monster rebound and put back for Bobby B. After going for 53% from the field in the first half, Nueva Ecija's percentage has gone down to under 40. 37% right now. That's a rare make off of that second chance opportunity for Nueva Ecija. The other end, Iguilos. Ball tap. Is there a push? Taganas again giving us that thumbs up. It is a pushing foul on Shaq Taganas. Fourth foul on Shaq, same with Will Macaloni. Paso Tito Tosi Tancinco to join the Marcelino Twins, Japs Bautista, and Jamo Iguilos. 14 to shoot, baseline inbound. Here's JB. JC now gets it. Down to nine seconds. Marcelino breaking down the defense. Couple of spins. What a move by JC Marcelino. The speed to leave his defender and the patience to shake off. Ito si Bobby Balokana. Couple of fakes, couple of pivots, and finally the score para kay JC Marcelino. Can the season MVP become the hero here for the Zamboanga family's band Sardines? They're still down by nine. Wiko. Layup is too strong. Recovered. Inside, Villarias will score. Back-to-back -back conversions off of the offensive rebound. Para sa Nueva Ecija, they have 14 offensive rebounds in this game, but that's only their seventh second chance points. How about Byron Villarias? Almost a double-double of 12 points and nine rebounds. No bounds for JV Marcelino.
Chris Bitton. Behind the back, driving right, losing space. Now Nueva Ecija tying Zamboanga in the turnover department with 17 apiece. We bring you this epic move of the game in partnership with OK Bet on the win. Tornado alert, courtesy of JC Marcelino. Tancinco working with JB as they break down that full court defense once more of Nueva Ecija. Marcelino, good feed to the mapping. Another case of nobody helping the helper right there. Attacking the press was JB Marcelino and nobody rotating to guard the big man of Zamboanga. Balumanag, they go to Palma, 10 on the shot clock, Mabula, Byron, thought about it, couple of dribbles, bounce pass, great play, one more feed, and Balokanag will proceed to the line. Villarias has been shackled here from the outside in the second half. No three-pointers for Nueva Ecija in the third and fourth quarter so far. Paso Tito, Cyrus Tabi. And Jonathan Eloan at papasok din si Mika Abisamis. Mika, go ahead. Big words from Coach Gerson, and he was mad when he said this. It's time to show them who the big, who has the bigger heart. Offense is a percentage thing, but defense is all heart. You can't teach defense. What we saw in Game 3 was all heart, especially with this crowd igniting Zamboanga. But at the end of the day, Coach Gerson said this. Simple lang. It's time to prove who the better players are, and you know who those are. Happy mix. There you see the accountability from Coach Gerson Cabiltes. And uh, speaking of heart, they really do give credit to Zamboanga. Aaminin talaga nila sa yo na natalo kami ng game number three because Zamboanga played so much better. Well, that's a sign of a team that is ready to give credit where credit is due and ready to admit where they are wrong ready to be humble enough to see where their mistakes are and that's the reason why they've been so good this season now the question is can they hold on to this nine point lead to snatch that title in the 2022 national finals turnover again palma looking ahead no foul and it's recovered by tancinco whistle blown now that was a two-on-one break, almost a three-on-one charge in transition para sa Nueva Ecija. But Reds Palma, too selfish, resulting in another giveaway here for the Rice Vanguards. That is turnover number 19 for Nueva Ecija in this game. Remember, they had 20 turnovers in game three, 21 in game number two. But still, no, in terms of turnovers, Ramdamong mas na damage pa yung Zamboanga here in game four. JV, couple of crosses, no good. Now Hesed has it. Wow, what a rim run by Bobby Balokanag. Such beauty when you watch it. Hesed Gabot threading the needle with that bounce pass, and Bobby B soaring high for the finish. Lead back up to 11. Side of Stabi. Leaner, in and out. Forward pass, Hesed on the foot race against JV Marcelino. That's a foul. Hesed will go to the line. Everything happens so fast. Now our referees, I believe, will consult our instant replay because it looked in real time that there was a hit on the head of Hesed Gabo. Natanggal nga ang kanyang headband and he was forced onto the floor, now he's still on it near their bench. Again, Hesed Gabo wasn't feeling well in game number three. Struggled in that outing, but the next day he was back in the gym doing extra work. We mentioned that he's scheduled in Nueva Ecija. Film viewing at 5 p.m., ball practice at 7 p.m., but he was in the gym at 3 p.m. alongside some of his teammates. Let's hope that uh, everything will be okay. He looks to be okay. But in my walking. opinion, uh, that was just a hard playoff foul you know, given up by JB Marcelino. But let's see here. here. Ayun. I'm sure the intention was to go for the basketball, but the hit was to the face of Hesed Gabo. It is an unspoke. He's actually lucky 
na hindi natawagan ng disqualifying foul because the hit was above the shoulder on the face of Hesed Gabo. So this is going to be two free throws plus ball possession. Crucial mistake by JV Marcelino. 55-44, Hesed Gabo will look to extend their lead. He has been dishing it out once more in this game. Eight assists so far for Hesed Gabo. Although he has been struggling at the line. Kanyang average in the series so far, 4.7 assists per game. A member of our mythical five in the 2022 season of the MPBL. If Nueva Ecija has been able to sink their free throws, this game could have been over before we knew it. But because of their struggles from the line, it has still been a game that has had the opportunity for Zamwanga to come back. One out of six for Hesed Gabo. Six out of 19 for Nueva Ecija. Less than 33%. Gabo drive. Could not bounce back. Chance for Zamwanga. Can they capitalize? Cyrus Tabi. Screen by Dumapi. Cyrus, mid-range. That's good. Now, if you look at it, Gumanda pa yung naging unsportsmanlike foul doon ni JV Marcelino because no conversions from the line for Hesed Gabo and no basket para sa Nueva Ecija. Lead cut down to nine once again. Babula trying to push away Chris Dumabig. They go to Uylo on two threes already. This time off to the left. Palma on the recovery. The easiest board of the game falling into the hands of Red Palma and might have just been his easiest basket of the game, a reverse, plus two points for Sanwe Baisia. This time out is brought to you by M. Basi Whiskey Chill Munatayo, the most underrated player of the Baisia. As per coach Gerson Cabildes, Renz Palma extending the lead back to 11 once more. With five minutes and 40 remaining in game number four. Hesed Gabo has been up and down in the series. You mentioned he struggled in game three. But back in game number one, he was the best player. Well, actually, more so down para dito kay Hesed Gabo. That was his only good game, that 22-point outing in game number one, where he did not just put pile on the points, put them on when they mattered most in closing out Zamboanga. Now in this game, only one point to his name, but he does have eight assists and uh, has been running the show well para sa Nueva Ecija. Something they sorely missed in Game 3. Gabo had to come off the bench in this game but has proven himself to be very effective once more. He is usually the finisher at the point guard position for Coach Gerson Cabildes. Couple of handoffs, pass inside. Another assist. And it's Shaq Tagana scoring. Nueva Ecija was very tense in Game 3. But right now, the body language, very comfortable and very confident. But that is a confident shot coming from Cyrus Tabi. No basket for him since that two-point conversion in the first half. Right now, putting down that lead to 10 points. Last two baskets of Zamboanga belonging to Cyrus Tabi. Here's Mabula against Dumabi. Ooh, a hit inside. That is going to be a review. For our referee. Referee Rodel Brilla consulting referee John Albelnas. We will take a look at the replay here. Check that. They're consulting referee George Moxino. The head of referees at the sideline. 59-49 which could be a big-time call here in the fourth quarter. Uh, four minutes and 50 remaining. 
still anybody's ball game despite Nueva Ecija being up by 10 points. How about you? What can you say about this play? Well, the Mapic tried to pull the chair from underneath. Ito si Michael Mabula. And Mabula chased the Mapic with that elbow. Clearly, it was there the intention to hit. All right, referee Rodel Brilla will now proceed to Richard Tampos for the final call. So there you go. That's why they had to consult each other because there was a flop involved. Well, I'll have to correct myself right there. Chris Dumapig, uh, hindi pa kasi siya natatamaan ng siko at gumalaw na siya. And although Michael Mabulak had that elbow out, Chris Dumapig flopped and that's the reason for the technical. At the end of the day, when it comes to those flops, you know, yung timing talaga, hinaabangan natin dyan. You have to be able to take the hit first. Now, Uylohan missed the technical free throw. So it will be a baseline inbound for Nueva Ecija. But Coach Jerson Cabildes will call for time here. With five minutes to go, they're up by 10 in Zamboanga City. We have four minutes and 50 seconds remaining in game number four. It is 59 to 49 in favor of the Rice Vanguards. There uh, seems to be a wet spot here. And Javi, if you're Zamboanga, nasaan na dapat ang iyong sense of urgency? What do we need to see from them in the next couple of possessions? Well, it definitely has to be at the highest level right now. There's still a lot of time remaining here, but they need to take action right here, right now. Up the defensive intensity, just like they did in Game 3. Shackle the offensive attack of Nueva Ecija and get baskets of their own because at the end of the day no matter how many stops you get if you don't capitalize on the offensive side of the floor you will not be able to win the ball game after scoring 75 in game number three they have been limited today down to 49 halfway through the fourth remember in the first quarter of this game we were tied at 15 all and Nueva Ecija just Barged in the first half of the second quarter with a 14 to 0 run. Now, Zamboanga did have a good third frame, just not enough to tie things up. That's why they're still down here. And they have Jamo Aguilos, Chris Dumapig, JC Marcelino, Jeff Bautista, and Cyrus Tabi on the floor. JB Marcelino was slapped with a flagrant one, an unsportsmanlike like foul just a while ago. That's why he's still at the bench. As for Nueva Ecija, they have Renz Palma, Shaq Taganas, who has been playing very well in this game. Jonathan Uyloan, Esid Gabo, who has definitely bounced back. And Michael Mabula. Here's Michael. Against Aguilos again. The face-up. He decides to shoot. No good. Taganas with another board. Uyloan. That's got to hurt. And now an unspo. Looks like it's going to be against Renz Palma. Oh, we're going to see if that shot will count because our referee had his two hands up already, signaling the count for the shot. Simultaneous with that unsportsmanlike call. Referee Jonathan Belnas now at the replay station. He will be the one who will go to Richard Tampos. Three will count. Which, by the way, Jonathan Uyloan has found his range in today's ball game with three threes after missing all of his six attempts in game number three. So it is an unspo on Renz Palma. Crucial free throws here for Japs Bautista. As the lead has ballooned to 13 already. And they will have ball possession. You mentioned the free throw shooting of Zamboanga has been better compared to Nueva Ecija in the past two games. 
Uh, before that, free throw equal attempts for both squads. But the, as you said, Zamboanga having the better percentage at the line. Two out of two. Para kay Japs Bautista. A basket here could mean a four-point or even a five-point swing. Para sa kanila, cutting this lead down to single digits. Now, Tosi Tansiko is on the floor for offensive purposes. The problem for Coach Vicky Casano, now that they're down, hindi niya alam kailan ba siya gagambol in putting Tosi Tansiko or even Chito Jaime on the floor because Nueva Ecija has Mabulak and now Macaloni on the floor. Just Bautista missing an important three right there. And Garcia regains possession, 62-51. They're inching in from their national title here in the MPBL. But Zamboanga is still fighting for survival. Gabo. On to Elon. Catch and fire. Off to the right. Macaloni gets the board. Will Macaloni's playing with four fouls now. Same applies to JC Marcelino. Gabo back to Jonathan. Fake. Fire. Short rebound, Mabulak. Napaganda pa. Two plus one for Michael Mabulak. In game three, Nueva Ecija had a lot of offensive rebounds. 18 on the offensive glass, but were only able to get 16 second chance points. So, sorry, check that. They had 22 offensive rebounds in 13 second chance points. But in today's game, they have been dominating the glass once again and capitalizing on those second chance opportunities. Mabula at the line to complete the three point play. He misses. JB Marcelino is back, but they're down by 13 under four minutes. Sancinko asking for it. Could be a big one. Yes. That goes in. Lead down to 10. And Zamboanga build on with a momentum here. Cyrus Stabi looking to stop Hesed Gabo. Screen by Mabula. Hesed bounce pass. It ended up with Byron Villarias and eventually it slipped out of his hands. The Rice Vanguards are definitely not out of the woods yet. Zamboanga down by 10. JB Marcelino hanging. No good. Ball tapped in favor of the white shirts. That is excellent defense by Will Macaloni. Playing with four fouls. Rising up and playing honest D on the shot by JB Marcelino. Every correcting himself and rewarding the possession back to the home team. Can they convert? Baseline inbound. JB Marcelino looking for a teammate. He goes to his twin. JC up top against Michael Mabula. Now JC kick out. JB with a fake. Leaner too strong. Nevaisia gets it. Zamboanga losing time here. There's three minutes remaining. Nevaisia inching into that national championship. Gabo. To Macaloni, kick out. Michael Rico, his turn to drive. One, two. Great patience. Mabulak is there for the putback. Once again, nobody boxing out. Michael Mabulak in another conversion on the recycle here. Para San Nueva Ecija. Two minutes and 37 remaining here in this game. Eight point lead for Nueva Ecija. It is 66 to 54, 12 point lead for the Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards against the Zamboanga Family's brand Sardines. Nueva Ecija looking to win that championship on the road, while Zamboanga they're looking to fight for another day here in the MPBL playoffs. The Marcelino twins will work with Cyrus Stabi, Tosi Tancinco, and Jamo Iguilos. Rice Vanguards will defend with Will Macaloni, Michael Mapula, Michael Wico, Hesed Gabo, and Byron Villarias. Two and a half minutes remaining. What can the home team do? Tabi, horns play. Down to 11 on the shot clock. Tansinko lumalabas. Short rebound, Macaloni. And as you can see in the body language, everybody is feeling it here. 
in the last two minutes. Sabanga got the shot that they wanted. That was a good setup for Tosi Tansinko. Side horns play, a down pick para kay Tansinko, but just unable to hit it from the outside. Here's Mabula. Last two minutes brought to you by Embassy Whiskey. Chill muna tayo. Another big basket here. Michael Wico has come alive in this game, injured wrist and all. Numerous attempts going to the basket. Whether he misses or not, he does not care. Michael Wico getting another shot from the inside. Another miss for Tancinco. The offense of Zamboanga is definitely slowing down here. And uh, as you mentioned, the three-point shooting just hasn't been there all game long. It, it's not just the three-point shooting mix. Before we go to that, it's the ball movement, the player movement, moving without the basketball. It has just made it so much easier para sa Nueva Ecija to play on that side of the floor. Now, this was the three a while ago. Brought to you by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances. A crucial one from Tosi Tansinko, just definitely not enough here as they're still down by 14 with 100 seconds to go in game number four. Gerson Cabildes and the Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards closing in on that 2022 MPBL national title. Byron Villarreal has come alive once again, 14 points and 10 rebounds, a big time double-double for the former JRU heavy bomber. And in terms of numbers in this series, you could argue that the most consistent players have been Byron Villarreal and Michael Mabula. Oh, big what a block. block by Will Macaloni. Zamboanga just looking for answers here. Down by 14 with 92 seconds remaining. Seven on the shot clock. Can they pull off one last miracle here in the Mayor Vitaliano de Agan Coliseum? J.C. Marcelino. A lot of time in the air for that one. He will go to the line. He's just doing everything that he can in his power to will his team back into this game. So little time remaining, but we've seen stranger things ha happen here in basketball. Macaloni fouls out. Jay Colliado will replace him. Macaloni will go to the bench. Looking a little bit uh, upset, but not too upset on that one. They do have a comfortable lead here. This free throw is brought to you by Extreme Appliances, ang subok at kompletong appliance brand ng Pilipinas. We mentioned Mabula and Villarias coming alive once more. But Javi, how about the likes of Hesit Gabbo, Jonathan Uiloan, Shaq Taganas, Michael Rico coming alive in game number four. They've contributed in the departments where they have been really good at the entire season. Kung saan talaga sa sila inaasaan, Hesit Gabbo able to set the table well, run this offensive show and stabilize his team. Shaq Taganas providing the quality minutes, getting those rebounds and playing good inside defense. While Jonathan Oilon hitting his mark from the outside. The ball is fouled. Usually he does these types of things. The exclamation point for Nueva Ecija. A pass, a pass first player all game long and then he decides to score in the fourth. And there you have it. Fifth foul already on JC Marcelino. He exits this game. Still down 13. Ang Zamwanga is a hard foul that he gave up. And that could be it for his MVP season. Again, he was the All-Star Game MVP, the season MVP. That's JC Marcelino. His twin brother, JV, got the best player award in game number three. Even though JC almost had a triple-double for himself as well. Gabo makes the first. He has struggled at the line all game long. Now he's making his most important free throw. I definitely could not imagine a team winning a game, shooting only six out of 22 from the free throw line. Sixty-nine fifty-five. One minute and four seconds remaining. Let's talk about Zamboanga for a bit, Habi. What can you say about the season that they've had? Well, they have really performed so well, Coach Vicky Casciano, despite having, you know, 
I could say not really the best of players on his team, although he does have some incredible talent. But they weren't really expected at the start to be here in the national finals. But because they played so well, they have really proven a lot of the critics wrong. And a big reason because of that is JC Marcelino and Coach Vicky Casciano. And remember, they reached Game 3 in the South semis and finals respectively against Bacolod and Batangas. So it has been an incredible journey to say no less for Zamboanga. Aguilos is fouled and will go to the line. Because at the start of the season, the finals preview was really Nueva Ecija versus Batangas because of the veteran presence and of course the willingness to get back in the big stage para sa mga player ni Coach Cholo Villanueva who have previously played for Makati and all these other teams but just fell short in their quest to get that national title but right now Zamwanga playing spoilers to that cause and if they do lose this game with 46.3 seconds remaining they should leave this season with their heads held high it has just been an amazing conquest for them in this campaign and again Zamboanga they've reached the South Finals and the National Finals for the first time in franchise history so unang beses itong naranasan ng mga Zamboanguenyo a final series of the MPBL in their city Coach Gerson Cavill is telling his guards to lose the time here fortunately they lose the basketball Tabi, couple of fakes no good this could be it folks Hesed Gabo will hold on to that basketball. The Rice Vanguards is bench celebrating. They flew their wives and children all the way to Zamboanga City to celebrate with them. And now this is the dream ending for an almost perfect season for Coach Gerson Cabildes as he wins his first ever regular season title. The Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards are your 2022 MPBL National Champions. What a season it has been. They were definitely gunning for that 30-0 sweep all the way to the national championship. But a great team is not without bumps along the road. And they witnessed that. They have they went through that against the San Juan Knights in the North Division Finals, losing the first game of the season. And now here in the National Champion National Championship Series against Zapuanga. Last game bounced back and really provided that uprising that was needed for them to win the chip. What an amazing season it has been for everybody from 1 to 15 and also for the coaching staff for this amazing team. Big shout out to every team in the MPBL, to Zamboanga, to Nueva Ecija for an amazing series. Kanilang buong pamilya para sumuporta dito sa Zamboanga. Hindi lang kasama ang pamilya ni Byron Villarias, but he still played very well. This player of the game is brought to you by OKBet, OK the official partner of the MPBL with OKBet OK on the win. Byron Villarias with consistent numbers in this series, a double-double in game number four. Well, aside from gifting his wife, who is celebrating her birthday today with the Player of the Game Award, he gifted his wife with a championship yes. as well. Happy birthday to Beverly Villarias. Shout out to Daddy Tiwi and Mommy Jessa Villarias. Para sa inyo po, itong Best Player of the Game Award ni Byron, who is with Mika Abesamis. Maraming salamat at kasama ko ngayon ang Best Player of this ball game na si Byron Villarias. Byron, alam ko, emotional ka ngayon. A well-deserved championship, lalo na sa performance mo at dyan sa pulso ng kamay mo na napakadaming stress na naipasok dito sa series na to. Uh, Unang-una, nagpapasalamat ako kay God sa binigyan niyang lakas sa amin, sa binigyan niyang champion sa amin. Uh, tsaka sa mga teammates ko, binigyan nila akong kumpiyansa. Kaya yung mga tira ko pumapasok sa coaches, lahat sa mga management, sa family ko. Thank you sa inyo. Thank you. Maraming salamat. Byron, alam ko, birthday ng asawa mo ngayon. Anong gusto mo sabihin sa kanya? Uh, happy birthday sa asawa ko para sa iyo. Ito yung panahal namin. I love you! Ano gusto mo naman sabihin sa fans ng Nueva Ecija at syempre sa coaches? Ayun, una-una, uh, thank you sa kay Boss Bong Cuevas, kay Ma'am Vian, kay, kay Mayora, kay sa lahat. Yeah! Woo! At saka sa lahat ng Nueva Ecija, ano, maraming salamat sa family ko. Thank you sa inyo lahat. At saka lahat ng nagsa-shoutout. Thank you sa inyo. Woo! I am praying for myself right now. Coach Gerson, 
isang panaginip. Pinag-usapan natin kanina, back in your earlier years in the MPBL, nagpapapicture ka lang sa trophy. Ngayon, sa'yo na siya at pwede ka magpa-selfie sa kanya anytime. Well, uh, first of all, I want to thank God for this win. Uh, yun nga, it was a dream. Uh, I put in the work. It was my goal, whatever team I'm gonna handle, is to bring the championship to the province. Uh, good thing, full support talaga yun. If I see, I'm thankful for the province to Boss Bong and his entire family. Coach Jerson, what about the fans? What do you want to tell them to all the supporters of Nueva Ecija? First, uh, I want to thank the Lord. Then to the entire Cuevas family, Boss Bong, they fly. Talagang lumipad papa po dito. Boss Bong Cuevas, Mayor Ryan Cuevas, uh, Mayor Vian Cuevas, Boss Ivan Cuevas. To my family, my kids, my wife, my parents, lagi naka support, lagi na nonood. Kapatid ko, dita ko. <laughs> Uh, especially, especially Lola ko, lagi na nonood to my coaching staff, uh, to my team consultant, Coach Steve, uh, the rest of the coaching staff, and to all the players, and sa lahat ng Novo Ecejano, and sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa Nueva Ecija, uh, maraming salamat. Uh, in this game, we just want to show that uh, we have the biggest heart. Our heart was questioned in Game 3. Right now, I challenge the boys to step up to show, to show how big our heart is. Uh, thankfully, uh, we got the win. Maraming salamat. A big, big heart from our winning coach, Coach Jerson Cabiltes. And of course, our best player. And that player is brought to you by OK Bet, the official partner of the MPBL. With OK Bet on the win. Balik sa inyo, Javi Migs. Thank you, Mika. There you have it, folks. The first regular season title for both Coach Jer Jerson Cabiltes and Byron Villarias. And how about that ending, Javi, for Byron Villarias? We talked about him all season long, getting the most best player of the game awards for Nueva Ecija. And he ends his campaign in the 2022 season of the MPBL and the playoffs, also bagging the best player of the game award. Well, a lot of people.